All right, well today we're over at one of my favorite little ponds. I've been fishing here since I was a little kid and it's got some huge brim in it. And we're gonna see what we can do. I got my little girl with me today and we're gonna try to catch them up. I wanted to say, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please do. We're trying to grow a little bit bigger and trying to do some videos that y'all are gonna like. So we made our way up here to the upper end of the pond and you can see them everywhere. The water is about the clearest I've ever seen them. Keep a nice one down in there. I'm gonna start my daughter off. We caught a bunch of red worms, just dug them up. We're gonna put a whole one on there. We're gonna throw it out here and try to get her a nice one. Oh, there you go, you got him, bud. See all this brush right here? Keep your rod tip up in there and bring him right over the top of it. There you go. Got a good little bass. Easy. Good job. Let's get you some more worms. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. Good size brim. Nice shell cracker. Get him. There you go. That's a nice one right there. Well, he's fighting. Though. Yeah, hold your rod tip up and that way. There you go. Hold it up. Oh, that's a good one. You got him? Good job. Oh, that one, you got one. This one's bigger than the one I caught. Yeah, but. I caught it, not my dad. Nice one. I caught it, not my dad. <laughs> there oh. you go. Good job. It's fighting hard, Dad. All right. <laughs> Keep your rod tip this one. There you go. Good job. Oh, you got another nice one. Oh, that's even bigger. Oh, and look at him. Oh, look how pretty that one is. Mm, yeah, buddy. That one's got a real so nice camera. orange. So I am. So it's got a real nice orange belt. My bass, not yours, Dad. Oh, it's not a bass. <laughs> it's a little brim. Wait, me, I'm getting off. I get off. I get off. And you gonna get him off? Okay. You get him off. <laughs> All right, it's really shallow over there. We're gonna try to run it high up on top of the water. Here he is, right there. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, oh yeah, good little brand. Now I'm gonna keep one of these, one of the bigger ones. I got it in a bucket of water. I'm gonna try to, I don't like keeping too many fish out of here because it's just fun to have a good spot to come fish with my daughter. So it's a good thing about these little beetle spins, you can jump them, bring them right to the brush and a lot of times they won't get hung up. There we go. Huh, maybe that's a ticket running high up on top of the water. I'm trying to get down here. Uh, the sun's glaring all over the camera. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Another nice one. That one might be even a little bit bigger. That's pretty fish. And these things are good eating. Oh yeah. They want it right on the surface of the water. That's where it's making a little bit of wake. Right, let's try it right. This is the very back end of the pond, right where the water comes in. I'm gonna run it up high again like that. Oh, there's, oh, had him. Let's try that again. Right, let's see what we can do. See if we can get him bite again. Awesome. You can see him right up on top right there. It's a nice little bass. That was cool. No, that's a little chunkier one right there. It's one of the bigger ones. Well, they've caught a few nice ones out of here, but the majority of the size is about like that. All right. Let's do it again. Oh man, I didn't have it on. He came up and nailed it just like the last one did. 
Nice. I wonder if that's that same fish. Same spot. I don't see any more holes in his mouth. That's all I'm using. Right. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness, that is the tiniest little fish. They can't all be trophies. The only problem is it's so snaggy back in here. But they're stacked up in here, that's for sure. I'm gonna get one more try right back in here. And then we're gonna move. There he is. That's a nicer one. It's fighting. There. Oh yeah. That's a good one. At least for this pond. Man, that was at least a pound. I mean, that's not a big bass for a lake. For this pond, that's pretty good size. It's running a little beetle spin on top of the water. All right. There he is. Oh, he spit it. There we go. Oh, it's another small fry. All right, there we go again. Still using the little beetle spin. Nice one right there. Another nice little brown. So we're gonna let him go and try to get another one. The key is these things get twisted up. You gotta make sure that your knot is in the right position or they'll do circles. And they just won't be effective then. Brim, they fight. My gosh, that's one of the. Look how fat that thing is. It is just huge. It is full of eggs. I'm gonna definitely let that one go. This is something that's just so much fun for the kids, especially. My daughter just loves it. That is a Try to, I'm going to keep one or two, but I definitely want to put the ones that are full of eggs back for sure. We want to keep this pond good to stop. There he is. What do we got here? That's something pretty good. That is a huge friend. 
Oh my goodness. That's a monster. That's what we're after. It's a massive ramp. Thing is huge. That's what we're after, the great big ones. But we're gonna let him go. We got two in the bucket. I'm gonna switch it back up a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom and then just slow roll it off the bottom. So this time of year, this is first of May, May, I think it's fourth or fifth, and the fish are at least the brim in these ponds are starting to move up into the shallows and make beds. So that's what we're up here here for. We're up here chasing them. So most ponds around this time of year in North Carolina, pretty much whenever the water gets warm enough, I can't remember, I think it's closer to 70 degrees. Once it gets up closer to 70 degrees, that's when they start moving up and start making the beds. But that's the time to get them. All right. I didn't bring a popper, but I'm going to try this little trout magnet. There we go. A little tiny bass. That is something. Say it again. Bye, guys. We're back to the truck. We had a blast, but we'll see you in the kitchen. All right, so here are the brim we caught today. And we've got two nice ones. And we're going to clean these things up. We're going to start right in here behind the head, cut up towards the head a little bit here, all the way down and we're turning around. And we're gonna start right in here and work right down the backbone. And I like to get that side started and I'll come over here. These things have got some really thick ribs. little play. Alright, so I got one. I'm gonna start right here on the head. Come in. Now we're just gonna follow that backbone right down. All the way down here. And then flip over. There you go. Nice little play. Now we're just gonna cut into the angle towards the rib bones. Cut the rib bones right out of there. All right, so we just got this little boat here made out of tin foil. I'm gonna take some olive oil spray and just do a little coat just to make sure that it won't stick. Now we're just gonna lay our brim in here. Spaced out just a little bit. Right. So now we are going to take some a little bit of Creole spice in there. A little dust into that, not too much. And then just a little bit of Cavenders. And that's all you need. That'll be plenty. You don't want to go too crazy because brim's pretty good. I don't want to overpower it. I got a little bit more Creole on there than I was anticipating. But, all right, now for the butter. A bit of squeeze butter. Give it a good little coating of butter. That'll be just enough. And now some lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice would be a lot better, but don't have any. There we go. We're gonna go stick it on the grill. Time to throw this on the grill. So we're gonna set it right over here. Now we're gonna give it about five or six minutes. Got some uh, deer kebabs on here. Trying out some recipes for some later videos. It's been about four minutes. Time to get it off. We're already done. The grill is pretty warm, so we only got about four minutes. Grim a try. It's honestly been 
years and years since I've had any. Normally you don't catch them at the lake big enough really to mess with and I try to not keep too many out of that pond and it looks good. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm. That's amazing. Well, hope everybody liked the video. I sure had a lot of fun making it. So uh, we're gonna try to keep on doing a bunch of videos and fishing season is upon us. So we're gonna try to do a lot of fishing videos and I'm hoping that that's what everybody wants to see. I'm gonna keep doing a bunch of other stuff too. So if you've subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please do. See you next time.